I'm reading some of you guys' five star. I am so incredibly excited for this video. I know I said all the time that I'm excited for all my videos, which is true, but this one is special because I posted in my community tab, which like I did not expect anyone to reply to. I posted, have you read any five star this year? If so, let me know in the comments. And I got some comments. I was so incredibly excited and grateful that you guys replied. So that's what we do. I'm reading some of you guys' five star. The first comment that I got was the teacher. I am so excited to read this because I read The Housemaid by this author, Frida McFadden. Loved it. It was one of my first five star of the year. I loved, loved that book. The twist, the turn. Did not know what was going on in that book until the ending. Until, until the end. I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. Like, I truly, truly loved that book. Like, if anyone were to ask me what's a thriller, what's a favorite thriller, I'm going to say The Housemaid by her. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, immediately, yes, immediately. So I cannot wait to read it this week. If the twist and turn is as good as The Housemaid, then yes, I am expecting it to be a five star as well. And the second one, you said the Jimlin Billionaire series, love them all. I'm representing today, but I have read the first one, The Fine Print. I read my favorite terms and condition of that series, but I actually never read Final like Offer. So I chose this one and I've seen all over Book Talk. This is like everyone's favorite. My favorite as of right now is Terms and Condition. I love Declan, him and I in a Marvel universe somewhere. We together, you know, he's real and he's with me. You know, I'm Iris. This is what I believe. Just let me be delusional for a moment. But like, I literally butt this crew neck just for Declan. I don't care for Warren. He bothered me in the fine print. But everyone on Booktas says this is their favorite out of the series. And like, I don't know. I feel like Terms and Condition is like going to always be it for me. But I'm excited to read it. And you said it's like you love them all. So I'm ex like, this is obviously was a fast star for you. So I can't wait to read it. I love Lauren Asha's writing. And I think it's going to be really good. I don't know if I don't know if it's Kyle's going to take Declan's spot. I doubt it. But we'll see. Last one I'm going to read this week is Betting on You by Lynn Finter. Twisted Men, who's always so kind to me in the comments, says, um, Betting on You, Lynn Finter, Fast Star, Biting 13, Ruthless Vow, Six Wonderful Star. I read Scar because of you, also Fast Star. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for reading Scar because of me. That made me happy. Ah, I love that, Tristan. You know, you know, he speaks French. But, I chose betting on you because with this vow, I'm going to read it in another video, maybe next week or something. Betting 13 is a series. I'm already in the middle of 11 series. I don't want to jump into another one unless I finish like three. Then we can read Mighty 13. So I chose Betting on You by Lynn Pinter. I've read like three books. I read The Do Over, Betting on the Movies. I've read Mr. Wrong Number, and now we're going to read this one. So these are all the three books that we are going to read this week, but we're gonna start wait. I know offer by Lauren Usher because it's thick. If you don't know about the Dreamland Billionaire by Lauren Usher, it's essentially about those three um, brothers, Rowan, Declan, and Kyle. Their grandfather created like Dreamland, which is basically like Disney World, like Disney. And he passed away. He was a very, very rich man. He was quite wealthy. He passed away and left them quite a lot of money but in order for them to receive the inheritance the share of the company they actually they each have to complete a tax in order for them to receive what the father like what the grandfather left for them um in the first book the fine print which was not my favorite because Rowan really just like he was just too indecisive he was a little bit annoying if i'm being honest did not like him at all didn't like it. He wasn't my favorite, <laughs> but he had to go like renovate the family theme park. And then Declan, my favorite terms and condition, he had to get married and have a kid in order for him to have like a little share of the company. And sin, I know, but it worked. This one, final offer, Cal, if I remember correctly, he has to go to Lake Wisteria and sell the lake house that they all grew up in. And I believe that's where he sees his ex, Alana, and it's supposed to be a second chance woman's and I'm very, very excited for him because we know like in like the book previously, he's still very much in love with her. So I'm just like, this is gonna be so cute and pretty and I'm very excited to see how Kyle acts when he's in love because he's like a great friend to Iris in terms and condition. Him and Iris, beautiful friendship. So yeah, I can't wait to see him in love and all happy. He deserves it, honestly.
I am honestly flying through this. First of all, um, I went into this thinking it was going to be all happy. It's a second chance. He's going to be happy. Like I was waiting for this mid happiness and I, it's going to happen because it's a romance book. There's going to be a happy ending, right? But I did not think for some odd reason, did not expect a heavy plot. This is a heavier plot than any of them had. I am so shocked right now. I am feeling so bad and sad for Cal. The previous book, we know that he was abusing alcohol and everything, but right now seeing all of the things that he's going through and what he has been doing for so many years surely hurt my heart. We know that he was a hockey player and he thrown his ACL and he hasn't like been playing hockey and all of that and he has been drinking and taking pills to numb the pain. So right now he's back in list like wisteria to sell the like house that he grew up in and he did not know that lana his ex the love of his life the infamous lana was leaving in the like house like the grandfather really is up in heaven but in much making like ooh, this is what i'm gonna do <laughs> i'm like i don't know who you are but i love you and i want nothing but goodness for you in heaven marry you be in heaven hopefully you know but he gets in the house and lana really truly had my approval from the first chapter because in that first chapter like he didn't know anyone was leaving there so he was just like walking in just like opening the door and there she was with a shotgun and she's like i don't know who you are but who you who, like whatever you are i'm going to shoot you and then kyle and her saw each other for the first time in i think six years and i was smiling so hard because she had such a small mouth and she's so quick with her comeback and she's funny and her wittiness just really has me but I just can't help and feel bad for Kyle. Like, I really did not know that he was going through so much. But yeah, he's currently in Lakes of Wisteria. He's trying to sell the house. And Lana does not want to sell the house because the grandfather left something that basically says that Lana also holds the house. I don't want to spoil it or anything. So it's a little bit difficult than we thought. Kyle thought he was just going to go sell the house, go back. But no. And so now he has to kind of work with Lana, try to convince her to sell the house without telling her that he's trying to sell the house because of his inheritance and all of that, which I think might be because of like a third ad breakup. But Lana is actually a single mother. She has a six year old and I truly love Kami. I truly, truly love her. But it was so funny because when Kyle saw <laughs> the kid, Men's fainted because he was like, Oh my god, is she mine? And I'm like, Oh my god, oh my god, do we have a niece? What's going on? And I was just like, No, no, what's going on? Then we find out like the whole thing with the kids, and I truly, truly just really love that. I love Lana's story so far, I love Kyle's story so far, and everyone in town, it's a small town, so everybody just know everyone and everyone knows your business. Everyone hates Kyle. In the town and i know what's going on with him like i know he's like just dealing with a lot of things so when they're like why are you here like why are you here and all of that i'm like listen he's going through some stuff just let him be okay let him be but since this is a lauren usher book we know the tension the romans the adventure is going to be there and it is even though they have not seen each other for six years the moment that they saw each other butterfly effect i could have felt the tension and i'm not even in the room i'm like oh my god this is too much it is crazy lana obviously always like she always loved him but she just wants him to be sobered up and she doesn't trust him right now because well he's still drinking but the little butterfly in her stomach is telling her something else and it's like honestly like bittersweet moments because she knows that kyle can be better and she'll like do better things with his life other than drinks all day and kyle like wants to be better but then the fact that he's in a town where everybody knows and hate him and the fact that He's like, she has moved on and all of that. Like he truly is going through it. And I'm just sitting there like, this is so cute. I just know he's gonna get himself together and they're gonna just be happy ever after. But the tension, the love, the romance between them really just has me smiling so hard. And nothing has happened. Nothing has happened between them. But just like you can see that they still have so much loved, but also really they still feel hurt, especially in Lana, the way that Kyle left her and like broke up with her. The pain, the hurt's still there in, in her heart. And obviously she's not alone now. She has a daughter to protect. And Kami, the six-year-old daughter, truly perfect little kid but i'm fine through it the kids they have 
very the first little kiss. Page 196. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's beyond cute, actually. It's a second for you guys, but a few days for me. I have been sick. I've been under the weather for the past two or three for the past two days. I think it's been three days, but I am almost done. And in chapter 48, I every single time I read her books, every single time I read Lauren Asher's writing, I realize just how much I love and miss her writing whenever I'm not reading her book, whenever I'm not in the world that she creates. I realize just how much I loved and miss her writing. As I was reading this for the past few days, I was sitting there like, this is so good. Like, I'm enjoying this so much. Every character that she writes are so lovable and so enjoyable. Every story that she writes just have you so into the story. Like, it just like you immerse yourself into the story and you forget that you're reading and you look up and you're just like oh my god i'm almost done i have been reading this and i love every single thing about this kyle has been taking a spot in my heart that i'm just like that name is in trouble because why am i feeling this feeling towards this myth because i really really loved him in terms and condition i loved him i love his character now like seeing everything that he's going through i feel like i just cannot help but fall in love with him because he just seems like so like human like he, like it, i don't know it just feels so real like the thing that he's going through right now and everything that he's doing to like better himself to be better if you can hear that that's my neighbor's kid <laughs> they are playing outside <laughs> they are just having a wild time but every single thing about Kyle I just make me fall in love with him so much more and I just can't help but want the best for him right now we are in chapter 48 and I'm enjoying this so much in him and Lana chemistry to the roof to the roof I also feel like this might be the spiciest I feel like I was like terms and condition was a little spicy final print also spicy but this I'm like oh my god you going there and I cannot wait to read the ending I feel like I know what's going to happen but it is a romance book, don't we always know what's going to happen? Yes, but <laughs> but I'm really enjoying this. I'm so proud of him right now. I love him. I love him so much. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. But Cal, character development, like just for him to become like who he is now. Is absolutely beautiful. So what I mean by like this book is overly too long. Like after chapter 50, like 56, right? 56. I'm expecting a plug because chapter 56 was perfect, perfect way to end this book. Kyle is happy, everyone is happy, and I'm I'm expecting when I turn. It's gonna be a plug. No, it is literally chapter 57. Why? <laughs> Why? He's already happy. We get this. This is the happiest he's ever been. <sighs> Let's end it there. But no, but we have this left. Why? I will end this in chapter 57, but here we are going in chapter 58. Why? Oh, that vlog. Please be done. It is done. <laughs> I am done. We have finished Final Offer, which means we also finished The Julian Billionaire. I loved, loved this series. It's honestly like bittersweet because I'm saying bye to one of my favorite series of all time. And I just love the characters. I love Doran Ash's writing. I love all the characters that she created in this world. I'm always, always going to think about them. I loved, love Declan. I love I like Warren. I love Kyle so much. Like him, like him and Declan, I truly do not know which one is my favorite. I think, I think it's still Declan because I don't know. I really don't know which one is my favorite and I, I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. I am also going to agree with you. This is definitely a five star. But after all this sweet love and all this beautiful love that we just read in Final Offer, I feel like I need a little thriller. I need something to balance it and we're going to jump into the teacher. I really hope I love it as the housemaid, as much as I love the housemaid. But yeah, let's jump into it. Three hours, and I've been in this since five. Watch it. Who the f did I get married? Oh my god, I have not moved three whole hours. I kid you not, three whole hours, and I've been watching this thing on TV. I have not moved. I am addicted, addicted. Oh my, have you been watching? Have you been? Probably, probably, because it seems like the whole world just kind of like stop and everybody's just watching Risa Tisa. Oh my god, this man is insane! Insane, I tell you! I'm literally taking notes because I'm like, my husband has to know. Oh my god, and there's another video that's like saying he responded. Why are you responding? 
I need to go read. I need to go do something with my day. I need to. I can't help it though. I'm going to. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it. And then we'll start the teacher later. go on and talk about this book let me give you a trigger warning yeah let me give you a trigger warning because this this is very important so it's pretty straightforward honestly it's basically teachers having relations with students so if you don't like that don't read the book because there was a part where i felt a little bit uncomfortable because some part was a little bit like graphic like you know things were happening between the teacher and like the student i feel like that could not be good for some people to read and also manipulation bullying on the life people obviously it's a thriller book so you know it's expected but yeah like i would say if you don't like teacher and student relationship that's that's a big big like it's called a teacher it's a big part of this book and sometimes i was a little bit uncomfortable so i wouldn't read it if you know it's going to like trigger you a little bit but I flew to this. I started it yesterday. Um, we went to the gym. I started it and then we went to the park for like a walk and like I just sat there with the audiobook and my Kindle completely flew through it. The same thing happened <laughs> with The Housemaid, which was the first book I read from her. And I loved, loved the writing. I honestly I think it's because like from the prologue, she has you just ready to finish the book in the one sitting because the prologue of the housemaid was so insane and also the prologue of this book let me read this to you like and tell me if you not be like okay what's going on it literally says digging a grave is hard work my whole body hurts muscles i didn't even know i had are screaming with pain what do you mean you're digging a grave <laughs> like why are you digging a grave do you work in a cemetery what's going on so immediately it had my attention like you do not know who on earth is talking you just know someone a character in this book is currently digging a grave and you don't know who it is but the teacher if you don't know about it it basically is follow two characters two pov eve who's a teacher and we follow addy who is a student but eve she is married to this she she's married to nate uh, like her husband oh i hate i don't think i've ever hated a character more than actually no one in this book is uh, lackable no one no one is good but like nate is evil he's the devil in this book i don't like this guy i truly just like mm. <laughs> i don't like him honestly even like from the first page you're like oh i don't like you mm. she's married to nate nate is also a teacher eve is a math teacher in this high school and nate is an english teacher and they've been married for i think eight years and um, one of the things that i like the moment when i knew i was going to hate nate is the fact that she says this man has been humming the same song for eight years while he brushes his teeth for two minutes imagine that imagine you're getting ready for your day for your dead end job you're just trying to get on with the day and this man goes no 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 i will hate you too like babes please stop just immediately stop what is wrong with you for eight years imagine that but we follow following Addy. She's 16 years old. She's going to the school. She just want, really want to keep a low profile this year. She has been going through a lot. Um, like last year, something happened where she caused the teacher to be fired because the teacher, it, it was rumored that a teacher and her were having like an appropriate relation, like relationship, obviously fired or jail. But the teacher, she caused the teacher to be fired and she is now being um like bullied people are making fun of her they're talking about her there's like rumors her best friend hudson isn't talking to her so she just want to keep a low profile this year and she actually ended up being in eve's is class which is like math and nick class which is english teacher her and nate bonded over poetry because they both likes poetry um why are you bonding with a student like just know your student exists don't don't do that but they basically bonded with each other and obviously you can tell which one is our favorite like like math or english which one you know and that's where the i don't think i'm like like swollen it that's where the 
uncomfortable, inappropriate relations start between a teacher and a student. Like again, if you don't like that, do not read it because at a part I felt really uncomfortable. But that's where the manipulation, the crazy things started happening, the unalifing things started happening in this book, the twists and turns started. And then that's where I was like so confused yesterday because I was in the park just like reading I was, the whole book, I was feeling bad for Addie, the 16 year old. I, I was really out there feeling horrible for her, the whole book. And then chapter 28 or chapter 30, I think it was 20, it happened. Like what we find out, we find out why her best friend Hudson isn't talking to, like, to her. And I was like, wait, what? No, pause. Babes, you did not tell me that. I'm out here feeling sorry for you because you've been bullied. And like, you didn't tell me you have this under your belt this whole time this whole time darling i'm feeling sorry for you like are you a victim or you're not like i don't know what's going on <laughs> and i was just like like i would not be talking to you too babes like i'm not saying you deserve to be bullied but like think about what you did think about it just for a second and like why will i why like i went from absolutely feeling so bad for her to confusion my emotion was all over the place and then i was feeling bad for the wife eve because i'm just like oh my god she's like stuck in this loveless marriage like this is not okay for her and then like previously like, like seven chapter 17 i'm like girl <laughs> something happened i'm just like oh my god everybody is doing something suspicious and i'm just like I don't even know what to do at this point. Like, I don't know who I'm supposed to trust. I know who I don't trust, but I don't know who I'm supposed to trust right now. And it was just like, it's so crazy. It's insane. And I've been like sitting there, like re listening to it, reading it on my Kindle. And I'm like, I have to finish it with you guys today because I went on book talk and everyone says the last twist in the epilogue was insane and you did it for them. So I'm going to read it with like you to see what's going to happen but i have to say i don't think so far i don't think he's going to be a five star because some of the twists and turns like i saw coming like i i had some in my nose i was like hmm, i feel like this is going to happen and i was not wrong like i was not wrong so far like the housemaid did not know anything was going to happen at all whatsoever but in this one i have guessed what was going to happen and it did so i'm just like oh yeah i know i saw it coming so we're just gonna see like what's the last twist and maybe that's what's going to let me give it a, like a five star because right now it's a 4.5 in my head right now it's a 4.5 but we'll see if the last twist is going to be insane and crazy you know more people in this oh my god <laughs> oh my god chapter 80 if you watching this chapter 80 when she said it was blank who did that i was like wait no uh, that's insane mm, she's not in jail so i'm kind of like what happened what do you mean Easy, the same J that was Eve J. <laughs> I feel like if you have not read this book, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm done. I finished it. I truly did not see the end in common. I, un I completely understand everybody on Book Tag that says the twist at the end honestly took them for like a wild win. They not know. But my, like my questions that I have right now is like, why are you doing the same thing? that I hate so and so for. Like, my questions are just going crazy in my head right now. The wills, crazy. But I think I'm gonna rate it a 4.5. I disagree with the relationship that two people has. Like, I can't say who, but I disagree. If you know, you know. Even certain people, I don't I don't agree with that relationship. But did not see the ending coming. The twist, did not, did not see it coming at all. I'm still shocked, like, how did that happen? How did that happen? But 4.5 for sure. It wasn't a five star because the first twist in the like the middle of it, I saw coming. I knew this was going to happen. I knew Addy was going to do something. And yeah, I'm still shocked that she's in school free and whatever. But like I saw that. But I'm I really, really like it. It wasn't a five star for me. I was expecting it, but it wasn't a five star. We are going to jump into Betty on you by Lynn Pinter. I need this after that that was crazy so 
that's good that I left this for last. It's going to be a nice little YA. And I'm going to enjoy it very, very much today. Hi, thank you so much if you're still watching this video because I started editing it. It was a whole 40 minutes. God bless. <laughs> but <laughs> I finished this. I said it before, I don't think I will ever stop reading YA and I think authors like Lynn Pinter is the reason why because of how I felt reading this book. I was all giddy inside. I was all happy. I felt like a teenager. I was feeling all the feelings that I used to feel as a teenager. You know when you're a teenager like your first heartbreak, your first love, your first crush, you know the feelings that comes with all these little things and then like you know if one thing go wrong like if you if you have a specific schedule routine and one thing go wrong the whole world just seems to stop. You're just like oh my god I can't do this. This book made me felt absolutely completely everything and I just really really love reading this and to see all the feelings that Charlie was feeling in this and the way she just reacts to certain things I'm just like I understand <laughs> like I completely completely understand but I truly 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 like this book I think this is probably my favorite out of all the four books that I've read because I was like oh it's perfect like I love better than movies and I still do like I think better than movies and in this book or like this book or better than movies actually I can't choose but I truly really love this book it's specifically about Bailey and Charlie they met at the airport and Charlie ended up sitting next to Bailey and he would not shut up like he just kept going and she was just like oh my god what is wrong with this guy i just need him to like stop i just want to read my book i just need him to stop like, just stop talking he wouldn't and i was just like i completely like i would hate you too baby <laughs> why can't you just let her breathe for a minute he calls her glasses because she wore glasses and i was just like oh my god this is so pretty but the second time they actually saw each other was at the movie theater they saw each other and then the third time they saw each other and actually ended up working at that place they ended up working in the same place and oh my god that's when the friendship started and well i can't say friendship because it was just like men and female cannot have platonic relationship like this just can't happen so he kept saying that we co-workers but the friendship started all the wonderful great things that happened in this book started going and i'm just like i was blushing the whole entire time i'm like oh my god i would never ever start reading YA. This is so good and I truly truly love it. I really do. If you, I recommend all of these like three books that I've read in this video. Like The Teacher obviously, like check your trigger warning. But all these three books I love. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you so much for replying to my little like tab that I posted. I had fun. I truly had fun. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. And yeah, God bless you. Stay blessed and bye!